Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. I wanted to go over my three luxury items. So my number one luxury item is probably no surprise, and that's having a chair. I like being able to sit down when I'm out here and relax and get comfortable. Now I have two chairs. Represent. It just depends on the trip on which one I want to take. You know, this one's only about a pound and a few ounces, so it's a lot lighter to carry. And I would carry it, it'd be worth the weight. Well, depending on how far I was going, but not having the, uh, now I had the stool as well, which I didn't bring, but I didn't have any back support, so it's really uncomfortable when you're sitting for long periods. I usually always have one or these in the car, just I'll tuck it behind the seat, or I'll throw it in the back, so it always rides with me, at least one of these. Today I actually happened to have both of them. One was tucked behind the seat and the other this one was in the back. Just because I was going to go camping the other day or a while back. And uh, you know, it, didn't, it didn't happen, but I still had it in the car. So. so if I ever forgot my chair, I would probably, excuse me, I probably would actually go back home and get it. Oh, just scrap the trip. So yeah, sitting is sitting is very important for me at least. I, I like being comfortable. I don't like coming out here and being uncomfortable. So definitely, chair is number one. Uh, it's nice being able to kick back. So the next luxury item I like to carry is a pair of tongs. Probably no big surprise, but not only do they help you when you're cooking by picking up and moving food so it doesn't burn, get charred, whatever, but when you have a fire going, you can get in there close and move stuff to the move stuff without getting your hand too close to the fire. Especially things that are on fire. You don't have to worry about burning your hands. So tongues are great. Also they're uh, you know stainless steel. They don't weigh a whole lot. I mean they're and you can, and they're really affordable. I've seen them. I've seen them for really cheap. And you can get, you know, long, long ones. You can get short ones. In fact, I think I even brought a pair of short ones. Which I know I did. So. Got a little pair of shorties for cooking. So you can turn your meat while you're grilling or whatnot. I mean, if your hands are gonna be still closer to the fire, but you're not having to handle hot things. So, number two is tongs. So my third and final luxury item, it's kind of a toss up between either having a cup for your drinking beverages out of or a measuring cup for accurate measuring. I've had many people tell me, you don't need the measuring cup, ditch the measuring cup. It's like, well, it's helpful when you're making meals that require accurate measured amounts. Like today's lunch is the uh, backpacker pantry meal. 
calls for two and a quarter cup of water. What am I just gonna guess? Well, then my meal could either be too thick or it could be too runny. I mean, I, you could eat it either way, but why not have it the way it was meant to be? So I'm actually getting a hot brew going, so I just like having a measuring cup. It doesn't weigh very much. I mean, it weighs something, but not enough for me to not bring it. Cheers. Damn, that's good. Steve 1989's idea. Hot chocolate and coffee mixed together. Mmm. That's so good. Such a killer combo. It's hard to put it down. Well, anyway, those are my um, three luxury items. I'm sure uh, your items are different. I'm sure you don't agree with some of my items too. But you know what? I don't really care. You know, they're they're what I like to bring out. It what makes my outdoor time enjoyable. So, you know, it's my dirt time. Yeah. I've had so many people comment about the measuring cup, it's like, I think it weighs like a fifth, eighth of an ounce, five eighths of an ounce or something like that. It's still light. Plus, you know, you can still drink out of it. You can keep stuff in it. Uh, I've been out with friends who have dogs, and I end up putting water in it for them to drink. You know, why not? Multi-purpose. All you do is take it home and wash it. I mean, I just take it home and run it through the dishwasher. Problem solved. Doesn't take up a lot of room. I just put it down inside. It'll actually fit down inside this cup. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.